This is Maria. And this is Hester. And together we are the, the Consort Counselors. Today we bring you a list of 10 activities for which you don't need a recorder. But they will for sure influence your playing positively in a concert or alone. Some of the items on our list may seem rather obvious. However, it's true that most recorder players out there, including ourselves, have not engaged in these activities with the same intensity. If there are a few of them that you have never tried, consider this video, this episode, as an invitation to do so. You will see your recorder playing in a new light. Every human being is born with the most beautiful inbuilt instrument, the voice. Taking singing lessons, joining a choir or even integrate some singing in your daily practice has many benefits for your instrumental playing. Early instrumental music is very strongly influenced by the sound and the expression of the human voice. And for this reason, singing yourself will help you understanding better how Renaissance polyphony works or the amount of different effects that can be conveyed by Baroque music, for example. But also by singing pop tunes, you learn how to convey your emotions with your voice and eventually you can translate that easily to your instrument. Singing also helps your oral skills, reproducing music by ear, recognizing melodies, memorizing music. And on top of all of this, singing is great fun. So, happy singing! Dance and music are very strong means of expression and they are intimately connected. As recorder concert enthusiasts, we can benefit a lot from doing some dance moves once in a while in any kind of style. Having control over your body, being aware of your posture, improving your coordination and following the rhythm and the cadence of a piece of music are only some of the benefits of dance for musicians. Besides, there is a style of dance fitting to each repertoire we play. If you have the chance to join an historical dance workshop, try it out! Nothing explains the right way of playing a pavan or a galliard better than dancing them. Not only historical dance is inspiring for recorded players, also contemporary sorts of dance from hip-hop to break dancing to uh, dance improvisation. If you don't have the chance to take dance lessons at the moment, of course, watching it live or in videos is already very revealing. Watching YouTube movies is a great inspiration to improve your playing. But in these times where moving images are gaining more and more importance, we would like to stress the importance of reading as well. When we read, we can take our time to understand quite difficult concepts and that means that we also get a deeper look on things than it's possible by watching a movie, for example. Reading can open your eyes to new worlds, new aspects, new repertoires and new techniques that perhaps you had never encountered before. In short, read articles, books, online resources. Look for material that suits your level and interest but also look a bit further than what you already know. For example, if you like 17th century music, how about reading a bit about the art of that time period? All associations we make will improve our playing. Listening to music is the best way to train our ear, develop our own taste and expand our horizons. Plus, it usually brings a lot of inspiration as well. Listen to CDs and go to concerts and also here, look a little bit further than the recorder itself or the music that you have been listening to for decades. Like with food, a varied musical diet is the best for everyone. To improve the quality of your listening, you can read the liner notes or the program notes if you're at a concert. You can compare different recordings of the same piece. And in that way, you will develop your critical listening, but also your ear will be more and more refined. Reflect a bit upon what you heard and talk about it with your friends. It is not always easy to say why you found a performance convincing or not convincing. This takes some training too. One of the best ways to learn anything is to teach it. 
When you have to explain a complex activity to someone, like playing music or listening to music, you have to look at it from all kinds of different angles. You don't need to start your own music school from one day to the other, but you can try to explain some musical concepts to a friend that doesn't play a musical instrument, or explain about the repertoire that you are playing with your group and why it's so fascinating to you. If you do have the chance to actually teach the recorder to someone or to coach an ensemble or as we have sometimes spoken in the past, uh, when you are working together with your group, you take initiative to lead one piece and everyone else also does the same. This will be very useful for you to uh, experience the music in a completely different way and we warmly recommend the experience. In our current conception of music, individual expression is essential. Music and feelings are strongly connected and expressive playing is an important quality of a good musician or a good ensemble. Like singing or dancing, acting, doing some theater can be really useful to discover new modes of expression in yourself that you had never experienced before. And it also makes you more aware of your musical, your expressive and your physical presence on stage. It can also help you to separate your stage persona from yourself. Imagine that you have practiced to be another person on stage, then you also might loosen up as a musician. As we mentioned in our episode about breathing, if you exercise a couple of times per week, you will have more stamina, you will improve your posture and you will also feel more self-confident. Besides this, if you try out a team sport, you will develop collaboration skills that are very important for any ensemble player. Would you like to play the recorder better? Pick another instrument on the side. Each instrument has its advantages to complement the recorder. So, follow your heart and make a good choice. Meeting people with whom we share a passion for music and in particular for the recorder is always a good idea. It may be that in your area there are not many recorder players available, but for sure anywhere in the world there are lots of people who like music, so start with those guys. If you want to meet other recorder players or teachers, consider attending a festival or a course. This may give you a huge motivation boost and provide you with ideas to practice for months. Sometimes it may really be worth the effort to travel internationally to attend an awesome recorder festival. And although we are not really objective because we are involved in the organization, one of those awesome festivals, which is coming soon, is the Open Recorder Days Amsterdam. 24th until the 27th of October of this year 2019 at the Amsterdam Conservatoire. You are very welcome to come and visit the festival and it would also be a great opportunity to meet in person. We just published the program online and there are amazing concerts, workshops, masterclasses and a huge competition for amateur players and pre-professional ensembles. Have a look at our website and book soon because we would like to meet you real life in October, Amsterdam. Yeah, but first, see you next week. Bye bye. If you like our stuff, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any new video of the Consort Counselors.